just how many real miles do we get with our older 2016 Tesla Model X on a full charge? Watch this test lucky video to find out. Welcome back to Tess Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla Model X and Karma the Tesla Model Y. I'm Jen, glad you're here. Carly has the day off, she is at school. Uh, today's video is all about real miles. We are keeping it real world here on the real uh, Tess Lucky. And this video was inspired by a comment on our 150,000 mile battery health video that we posted back on June 3rd of this year, 2024. Our ex on my mind, 8362, asked us this question. 222 computer miles or real miles? Difference in driving the streets of hilly San Francisco and flat Wyoming. What's the real world miles? We thought this was a great question. We hadn't done any analysis or videos on this until we posted our October 6, 2024 video with Karma, our Model Y, doing this little experiment. And now today we're gonna show you the very same format, real world miles for Lucky, the Tesla Model X. With one exception, in that video of the real miles with Karma, the Tesla Model Y, we talked about eight different ways to conserve battery and get more miles for your Tesla. We're not gonna cover those same eight things today. We're just gonna link that video at the end of this video for you to watch if you missed it or you can search for it if you'd like to learn more about how to conserve battery in your Tesla or your electric vehicle. I'm sure all of the same things apply to other electric vehicles. And it's very common sense. They're the same type of behaviors and dynamics that would burn gas in an ICE vehicle. So those things like air conditioning use, for example, they work the same in electric vehicles and in traditional petroleum cars. Now I will give you a little sneak peek at what's coming at the end of this video. My husband is actually going to share his theory about why the Florida Keys is kind of a sweet spot for electric vehicles and hybrids. And he's going to share some data from his hybrid Ford Maverick. So watch to the end of this video if you want to see Storm on Tess Lucky sharing some great data. First, let me tell you a little bit more about Lucky and give you her specs. Lucky is an older high mileage 2016 P90D Model X. Lucky has a lithium ion battery. We had free supercharging for life until we were able to transfer that benefit to our new Tesla Model Y Karma. When the original owner bought Lucky from Tesla, the sticker showed a prediction of 250 miles of range. The highest range that we ever saw was 244 miles of range, and that was on April 6 of 2019. We had about 25,000 miles on Lucky at that point. Then about five years later, in June of this year, when we posted our 150,000 mile battery health recap, we saw total miles of range on Lucky predicted to be 222 miles with a full charge. Now in Lucky, this older Tesla Model X, these numbers that I'm giving you are rated miles and not ideal miles. In the older Teslas, you have a setting in the MCU where you can choose whether you want rated or ideal. I keep the setting on rated because I just don't think that like anything with driving conditions can ever be truly ideal. Although later in this video, you're going to see my husband Storm explain why he thinks the Florida Keys is as close to ideal as it comes in terms of battery range. Interesting note that Tesla discontinued this ideal versus rated miles in the newer Teslas. Another reason I go with rated versus ideal is that when I look at the ideal number they just seem far-fetched. 
let's use the current rated versus ideal numbers for lucky and I'll explain what I mean. The night before we did this driving experience, I charged lucky all the way to 100% at our home charger in our garage. Actually, that night, for some reason, lucky would only charge to 99%. It showed 221 rated miles and 273 ideal miles. And I just say, 273 miles with a full charge? No way, I've never seen anywhere close to that. I mean, maybe if we were like downhill and downwind the entire time, you know, and drafting a semi, like with those three conditions, maybe we could hit 273. Now let's play a little game. Go ahead and post in the comments now your prediction for what you think Lucky is going to see in terms of total miles on a full charge from this driving experiment today. We're gonna be driving from Big Pine Key up to the Key Largo area and back. So it's only gonna be local Key, Florida Keys driving here. No highways and no real like city streets, uh, congested city streets. We don't have congested city streets for the most part here in the uh, Florida Keys, which is nice. Then at the end of the video, when we do the big reveal, you can see how close you got. I really look forward to seeing everyone's guesses. So thanks for playing along in the comments. So it is our pleasure to dedicate this video to Teslucky channel member, John Poldoin. John, I hope I said your name right. I actually used howtopronounce.com to try to figure it out. Poldoin. John has been watching Tess Lucky for at least four years. He shares so much great information in the comments. If you see his name, read his comments because you will learn something. Today's drive for this experiment is very typical of how we drive Lucky. Lucky only stays in Monroe County, local driving only. When we leave uh, the Florida Keys to go to the mainland or we take road trips, that's when we take Karma, our Tesla Model Y. So I'm very excited about both of these experiments being very true to our day-to-day -day utilization of the vehicle. So driving up and down on the Florida Keys, you're gonna see typically about 45 to 50 miles an hour is the average speed limit. Occasionally we're gonna get up to 55 and occasionally we might be as low as 30, but let's just say 45 to 50 is gonna be the average for this drive. We had perfect weather that day. It was 85 degrees and sunny, no rain. We kept the air conditioning at 70 degrees and the fan speed was a range between three and seven for the entire drive. Now that you have those details, actually, maybe some of you are gonna wanna pause this video and edit your guess. That's fine. No cheating though. You can edit your guess now, but don't do it at the end of the video. I mean, what's the point of that? So let's get to the big reveal. After that lovely day of driving around the Florida Keys, I arrived home at 3% state of charge on Lucky. Did I have any range anxiety? Nope. Not at all. The car is so precise. If the vehicle says it's going to make it to the destination, I just completely trust it. I, it has never steered me wrong. Plus, we have superchargers five miles from our house. I drove right past them to get home. So there was no concern. I knew I was going to make it. So we started the day at 99% battery. We got home with 3% battery. I am actually a bit astonished to tell you that I drove 225 miles, which was exceeding the prediction of 221 miles when we left the house. Wow, I think that's really cool. If you do the math to calculate the real miles on a full charge, 225 miles with 96% state of charge equals 235 four miles for 100%. Carly, I think that may actually be an algebra two equation, is it? So 234 miles is a far cry from the rated prediction of 273, but it's 13 more than what was predicted for the rated miles. I think that is really cool. And I truly believe that the only reason we were able to accomplish this is because the driving conditions here in the Florida Keys are just so close to ideal for Teslas, for electric vehicles, for hybrids. 
So if you have one of these vehicles, don't be afraid to come down to the Florida Keys. Plus, we're getting more superchargers all the time down here. We just got V4 superchargers in Marathon and recently posted a video to show you those. If you haven't seen the new V4 superchargers, definitely want to check that video out. They are so cool. As I mentioned earlier in this video, my husband Storm drives a Ford Maverick hybrid and he really believes that he has discovered the sweet spot of driving his hybrid here in the Florida Keys. He gets really great gas mileage in that vehicle and I'm going to let him explain to you right now what he means by the Florida Keys is the sweet spot for hybrid driving. Hello YouTube. So when driving in the Florida Keys on the Overseas Highway, Key Deer Boulevard and Key West, I average about 50 miles to a gallon based on the inertia of the electric engine and the hybrid. Uh, it is really a sweet spot for driving, you know, an electric vehicle because, you know, our average speeds are probably around 50 miles an hour. So you're not really stressing the engine at all. I'm on all electric right now, but and this is a Ford Maverick is a Ford hybrid. Maverick hybrid. Yes. It's not a plug in. It's just a hybrid. And you can see we're just idling in the driveway. So it's on all electric, but when that'll switch as we're talking and it'll show, I think my mileage is set at around 48 miles an hour, uh, 48 miles per gallon right now. It tells you how much time you were on electric. Like I said, I think my last trip just locally was like 48 miles to the gallon so again and that has to do with you know our driving speeds here i go up to the mainland my you know in a hybrid obviously my mileage drops way down to you know 38 to 40 miles uh you know per gallon so Thank you, babe. I appreciate you being in this video so much. Mm, love you. Viewers of Test Lucky, you're still watching this video. Please click the like button. It will really help our video maximize its potential with the YouTube algorithm. And tell us in the comments, what do you think about this little experiment of real miles for a really old Tesla? I mean, Lucky is now more than eight years old and I am super, super pleased with our battery health and the mileage that we see with this older Tesla. We're at 156,000 miles right now and we will be doing another battery health update, another car maintenance recap, and another battery life video at the 175,000 mile range. That'll probably be somewhere towards the uh, second half of 2025. So click the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching this Test Lucky video all the way to the end and safe travels to you in whatever you drive.